freezing cold and it's rained all day and it's dark. So what's, oh. what's lovely with you guys there? I envy you. But it's 100 degrees. Is it? Fahrenheit. Yeah. Yes, ugh, it's it, September, October, and uh, September, October are the hottest months in Los Angeles. So wow. you don't get that wonderful winter autumn feeling. So we yeah. envy you, actually. Well, I'd, but, I'd swap, I'd swap you a bit of it now. I've got to say because it's rained all day. And but anyway, hey, you're both right. looking well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> in the car, car light. It's, car light is perfect. It's brilliant. <laughs> that, what um um so so. Uh, is everybody in masks over there? Is everybody, come on, tell, just, yeah. just give us yeah. a bit of that, because we're all yeah. locked back. How about there? Is everybody in masks there too? Everybody's, everybody's getting really worried again. The government have said that we, we're all got to be locked down again. And, you know, it's getting, oh. it's getting very uh, tight again. What about over really? there? That's so interesting. So, you, yeah, here it feels like it should be, but it's not. Um, but, but so your numbers have gone up, huh? Our numbers have never really gone down. It's a, it, this, this country is like the worst, but um, no, are, are your numbers are, going are, back up? Is that yeah, numbers, numbers have gone back up. I saw um, Madrid, they are having a lockdown. Um, uh, what oh. other country today? Another, another country, but in Scotland, they're having a big lockdown. And, and here wow. they are as well. Everybody, everybody's just a bit scared and a bit worried and fed oh. up, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's what everybody is. Scared, worried, and fed up. It sounds like the title of a song. I've, I've been running around going, they took my thumb, Charlie. They took my thumb all day today. <laughs> I, I, I just, honestly, I, I just, I was walking up our little street saying it to myself. Does it seem a lifetime ago that, Eric? Does it, how long ago? Or, or is it just like yesterday? It would seem a lifetime ago, except every airport I have been in since 1984, I've heard, Charlie, they took my thumb. <laughs> I hear that every airport I'm in. Yeah. So that's why it's, it's, it's fine. Absolutely fine. Tell, tell, tell me, have you been working during lockdown? Have you had work or is it, is it all dried up? Well, if, if I go on and on and I tell the truth, everybody gets mad at me. And if I don't tell the truth, it's a lie. So I don't know what to do. Okay, I, we'll tell the truth. I'll tell you my version, and then he can tell okay. you. Okay. First, at first, yeah, we had 21 projects lined up. We were scheduling. We had a massive, you know, rest of the year. All put on hold, indefinite, like, bye, gone. And really locked down. For a short time. I mean, it was long-ish. A but week. No, 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 no. No, two months. No, sweetie, no. Okay, now, slowly but surely, <laughs> with all different kinds of protocols, we're back. And now we're really back. I think we're the only ones who are willing to take the job. So we are on set every single day. No. And, uh, you know, and, they, and a lot of times they say, oh, it'll be a skeleton crew. It's only 12 people, you know, and then it isn't. It's, it's, it's 100, it's 45 people. It's, it's like, it's kind of like we're back, you know? Yeah, everybody, is, the, the, the sad thing about it is everybody thinks, even though we all know Trump is out of his mind, everybody thinks if it's okay with him, it's okay. So, us, yeah, yeah, we, we we know better, but uh, but you know we're we're the only we're the only kind 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 of a name who is willing to get out there, and so uh, they're calling us. I'm gonna go get an orange juice. Okay, baby. I'm gonna go to get an orange juice, and you guys can. I love that mask. Me. Very fetching. Very fetching I mask. Thank you. thank you very much. I you know why what not? If we're be, yeah, if we're gonna be wearing masks. We might as well like make it all pretty and bedazzled and stuff. Beautiful. Okay. And if you don't come back. I'm right. If you don't come back, don't drive my car anywhere. Okay, I'll be right back. I'd love to get you something. We haven't See quite you. figured out how to do that virtually yet. Okay. See you in a sec. What, what, so, so, I mean, I guess somebody like you, you, you just love working, don't you? It must, be, it must be very hard if you're not allowed to work. Well, my wife asked me in 1993, we've been married about a year and a half, and she says to me, Eric, baby, if you could do anything every day, what would it be? I said, I'd be on a movie set. She goes, that's not going to happen. And then 2003 comes, and 
she says, you know, people are buying their own cameras now. It's weird. And they're calling direct. And by 2008, we were getting a dozen offers a day from all over the world, direct calls. So we started to pursue that. And I, and I, I got a dozen offers a day. So we traveled the world fulfilling these offers from everything from, you know, because I like the part to the fact it was a first time in director my, and, my, and my wife wanted to help them all kinds of different reasons, but we did all kinds of different movies. And I mean, hundreds of movies, we saw the world for free twice and uh, had a great time. And uh, quite frankly, it was not the industry that I, that, I, that I started out in, but it's an industry that became really fun, really frenetic and really available, accessible. And, uh, and all of these young kids making movies with their own cameras. So they wore their own studios. And, and they were calling me, so I showed up. That's the long and short of it. Where, where, I mean, I know you're associated quite a lot with Russia. What, what other places have you gone that you've not known about? I mean, for example, have you, have you been to Istanbul? Or what other places have you been and you thought, wow, I love this place? I've been anywhere you can name, probably. I've been to Istanbul several times. And uh, I make two to four movies a year in Russia because I am I'm their biggest bankable star in Russia. I'm not bigger than Arnold, I'm bigger than Sly. I'm Elvis Presley in Russia, who knew? So I go there two to four times a year and I make a movie and, uh, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm treated like Elvis Presley. They, they, they have to give me bodyguards because everybody grabs my clothes and screams, Russian, 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 Russian. And uh, it's really fun. And so, and so that's my, uh, my, um, my super shot in the world is Russia. And every place else, I just, I just, I just show up and they welcome me. Who knew? Well, what, how, what's, what is it though? You must, you, if you're getting lots of scripts or you're getting lots of calls, how do you, how do you decide which one to take? Uh, well, uh, out of a dozen offers a day, we probably say yes to one of them <laughs> almost every day. And it's usually, because they're the most organized and ready. Because everybody thinks that they, uh, they know how to make a movie, but it's a whole new world now making a movie. So everybody's learning at the same time. So uh, it's quite a process. It's kind of, kind of, what's the word you want? I think I said it earlier. It's kind of, you know, frenetic. But, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's, uh, it's very rewarding because these... Um, even though it is a bit like instant coffee, it's like, okay, done, we're, we're done, move it on. And, and, you, and you ask yourself, is this really what I wanna leave behind me? But, but, but you realize that's your choice. It's either leave that behind you or nothing. So I've made it fun. Yeah, but the thing is as well, we, we love you. I mean, I start, when I told everybody I'm, go, I'm gonna interview Eric, everybody went, oh, he's, you, know, you, you, are, you are so, uh, respected you so loved when when when's the next really big one when's the when's the next really massive one around the corner what, what's it gonna be you never know because things like i'm the only actor who is a name who had to audition for dark knight and i did i auditioned and then i didn't hear an answer for that for four and a half weeks i thought wow. i lost the part i thought you know it went away and then I got a call, hey, you want to be in a movie? Sure, yeah, yeah. So, and so, so you, you never know because the industry is not what it used to be. Like uh, back in the day when I was above the title movie star, it was like, 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 let's take an example, like the Pope of Greenwich Village. I got sent that book and that script in January of that year. I was told, pick a part, Polly or Charlie, pick a part, read the book, decide which one to play. I picked Polly. We started to shoot in September. So I had eight months to drop all that weight, perm my hair, learn my lines, get ready to go to work. Eight months. Now you get offered us a, a, a movie, a, a big movie, Dark Knight. You get offered it on, on Friday to go to work on Sunday morning. I mean, literally. And that's Dark Knight. That's a real budget, real director, real actors, real locations, real, real script. And even that is bang, you're in it. And... Uh, it's not at all, you, 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 you get no prep time anymore. You get no warning. You, uh, you get no advanced schedule. You're just told jump and you say how high. And that's kind of what yeah. happened in the industry. Yeah.
What was that scene like? Just because we, we, we do want what was Heath Ledger like? Oh, Heath is a lovely man, very normal, very sweet, very un, totally unpretentious and kind. He was a kind man. What, have, you, have you had any opportunity and would you do it to go behind the camera? I've been asked to direct maybe 300 things. I always say no because I'm a child. I'm an actor. I love what I do. If I'm a director, I, I have to be, I, I, I have to be responsible for everybody. I'm not that grown up. So I like my job. That's a long and short of it. How is it? I was, I was watching you, um, uh, I, I think it was from Suits, and I, I saw a, a, a clip and you said, they do rewrite straight away. You've got to be, you know, that's a skill in itself, isn't it? Just being able to go, bang, I can do that. Suits was one of the hardest jobs I've ever had because of the constant rewrites. And uh, because th they, uh, they hand you a rewrite and it's a paid speech, it's completely new. And, and you're gonna shoot it in five, six, eight minutes. Here's your rewrite, bang, we're gonna shoot that next. You're like, whoa, it's frightening. And uh, so what I would do, what I would just become the character and I would decide, well, this is what the character is thinking. And I would, just, I, would, I would just go through it as a thought process of his personality. And that's how I, how I would, how I would in, in like bed it in my mind because it was so hard and it was so much pressure. And I was so scared because this guy was very, very confident. So I had to be very behind my words. And uh, it was spooky, dude. And uh, but you know, I got through it. And uh, and you know, I'm 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 like everybody else. You know, even even though I've done this a lot, we're all scared of failure. We're all we're all we're all scared to do a bad job. And uh, I like pride myself, and I got to, didn't I? And so I have to be ready. And uh, suits was hard, man. Suits was maybe the hardest. But uh, they're a great group. Oh God, they're a great group. And I love Gabriel. What a great guy. So, so we had real fun together. But uh, <laughs> it was work, dude. It was work. I, I can't believe. I can't believe. Yeah. What? I can't believe the two of you didn't get invited to the royal wedding. Yeah. I thought the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> was, come on, got to ask you. How was? How, how did you get on with Megan? Ah, she's a wonderful girl, man. She's really normal, really sweet. Uh, she's probably the calmest star because you know she's a star. Even 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 before she opens her mouth or acts, she's a star. She's probably the calmest, most accessible, sweetest star I've ever been on set with. She's incredible. Do you keep in touch? Do you do do you, do you swap texts and things like that? Uh, we uh, we uh, we uh, we uh, talk we uh, talk about my fashion about twice a week. Sure, that's a lot. <laughs> what what if you had a choice? If you had an opportunity, what what would you like to do? What 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 role or is is there a part you think? I mean, you've done so much, but is there anything out there you think I, I, I'd really like to attack that or have a go at that? Well, at this point in my life and my career. I need, I need dichotomy. And what I mean by that is this, I need to play two characters in the same piece that are complete opposites. And if it's, you know, the same guy, great. Like a dichotomy, like an undercover cop who is very, very masculine, very butch, and he has to go undercover as a drag queen. Something, that kind of dichotomy, that's what I want. I want to do that because, because I love playing people who aren't what they appear to be, which I do a lot, but I want to go farther. I want to, I want to, I want to play somebody who has to, you know, pretend he's another appetite sexually, another appetite, you know, you know, you know, you know, look wise, weight wise, skin tone, all of it. I want to go dichotomy and uh, have fun showing off as an actor. Um, my daughter said, I had to ask you this, her, her favorite band. And I mean, she loves them. Is the killers? Ah. Now, now she, she, oh, he's, in, he's in Mr. Brightside. And how did how did all that come about? And I, I heard that you weren't very keen to start with. Well, what happened was that was that was in the first video I was offered. I've been offered new mini videos since, you're mostly with with the Mariah Carey two back to back, Aton, yeah. uh, 
and and some other, and they all went number one, every one of them. But here's how it started: the uh, the uh, killers called me, made an offer. I turned them down because I don't do videos. And then all my kids called me and said, "Dad, what are you doing? You can't do that. What are you doing? It's the killers. Call them back." I said, "They they don't want to. They don't. They don't want to hear from me. Call them back. Say you want to do their video." So I did. I called them back. I said, "My my my kids sent me to boo boo. Can I can I can I be in your video?" And they said, "Of course you can. Thank God you called us back." So so. I made the video and out of that then I got all the other video offers and every one of them I've done seven videos and they've all gone number one so I'm a little bit of video platinum which is kind of cool because I didn't expect that so it's a really fun for me and the uh and I have a whole new audience I go I go into Starbucks now and I have these eight-year-old kids saying hey hey mom there he is there he is and so it's just like wow it's so cool because I thought I thought my audience was old and nasty, you know, and now suddenly I have all these kids, and uh, it's really fun for me. Do you like the music? Do you... Is she back? Here's a fan. Okay. Fan. Good morning, sir. Hey, pal. Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, are, are you was in my range? I'll be right there. Oh, okay. You know the address and everything. No, you have talked to Eliza. She's oh, oh, she's, she's in Starbucks. Inside. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. I'll uh -huh. see you in a minute. Anyway. <laughs> how, how, uh, <laughs> what was he on about there? Uh, j so, somebody who, uh, who uh, knows my wife. All oh, right, okay, okay. How, um, how do you wind down after you've had a sort of busy day and a, a, a pressurized day filming or what? How do you relax? You know, it winds me down every day, and how I relax is I go home every evening and I do homework. I do homework for an hour, hour and a half every evening. And that calms me down. It makes you ready for, for, for my next day. And a lot of times I get offers on a Friday to like, to like work on a Saturday or on a Thursday to work on a Friday, whatever it is, it's overnight. And uh, so I will say, well, I need cue cards and it's going to be dialogue. So they give me cue cards sometimes. I've used, out of 500 times on film, I've used cue cards maybe 30 times. So I've, right. used, I've used cue cards quite a bit. But, uh, but uh, you know, it all, it all depends on the schedule. But uh, because it's much easier and much smarter to learn your lines and then you have freedom. But, uh, but yeah, I just, I'm, I honestly, you know, consider myself the, uh, the luckiest guy on the planet because I've seen the planet and I have the best job there is. And I'm so happy to go to work every day. So when people say to me, God, you work so much. I don't work at all, dude. I'm so lucky. You know, honestly. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's that dreadful feeling as if somebody's going to pat you on the shoulder and go, okay, Mr. Roberts, you've had enough now. You've got away with it for too long. I don't get a proper job. I'm fooling everybody. Don't work in Starbucks. I always feel I'm fooling everybody. That's true. It's funny how that works. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> don't tell anyone. We'll keep it between ourselves. Um, <laughs> you've dipped your toe into the, a, a bit of reality haven't you? We've, what was the Bear, Bear Grylls thing? I was reading about, that. what was all that? Adventure Island or something, what was all that about? Well, you know, I work every day pretty much, and my wife presented it like it was going to be a vacation. Eric, I got you this great gig, and man, I don't have 30 days, nothing to do, blah, 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 this one little hitch. You only eat or drink what you find. But besides that, it's going to be a vacation. You're going to have so much fun. Okay, I'll go do that. It was a miserable experience of my entire career. <laughs> Horrible. I have never been so hungry and miserable in all my life. Every day, just with the water, getting the water from the spring, bringing it down, boiling it, cleaning the water, four hours minimum, four hours every day, just on water. And that's way before you eat. We only caught fish twice, but we ate fish twice. We basically lived off coconut, and uh, which is a whole food. You uh, you can live on it, but I lost 38 pounds. Wow! I've I've only gained back 16, even though it was a long time ago. I've, I've only I've only gained back half the weight, and uh, I'm I'm like still way too skinny. And when you get this old, you can't get too skinny. You look old, dude. You got to be careful. <laughs> But, uh, but uh, yeah, it, it was the most miserable experience of my life. I do not recommend it. And uh, everybody was lovely except for one person. So that was only 10% of the people were bad. So it was okay. It was really How okay. long were you there for? Were you stuck on an island 30, or something? 31 days. No. On an island. 
but nothing. Oh. Yeah. Bear Grylls. Yeah. Right. It was horrible. It's your fault. He's blaming you, Eliza. You're right. Oh, uh, he's, yeah. sure. it's, he's right. It is my fault. It is her fault. <laughs> It was you know all what? my doing. It's the only time in the history of our marriage I have not loved my wife completely. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to keep you. I, I want. I, you've been fantastic. You're fine. You're, we're, we're your friend. No, we're here he, knows you. That we have a, he knows that we have another one. Listen, I, wa I want to ask you, having met the two of you, Yes. When are they going to do? Because the Kardashians is finished. When are they going to do? The Roberts, the two of you, would absolutely... That would just smash it out the ballpark. You know what? <laughs> you, you can help that happen. Let, let me tell you, we have been approached so many times to do a show. Yeah. I mean, obviously, as soon as Sharon and Ozzy were doing it, everybody came to us. And we always say yes. And then it gets to that committee, you know, that kills the commitment. You've got the studio and the this and that. And there's always people who are really gung-ho. And then a few people who are like... No, well, where's the 20 year old, you know, the naked 20 year old, right? Yeah. Where's that element? Because look at what the Kardashians have done. I mean, mostly it's about vaginas. I and mean, they want to show a problem in our marriage that we don't really have. Well, that it's part doesn't bother me because we can act that. I mean, that, we, can, we can do that. Yeah. But, you know, you need to suggest it, especially over there in England, oh, no. right? It'd be fantastic. It'd That's be absolutely, it'd be the, it would be gold dust. Well, you've experienced us in our natural habitat, the way we really are. So you take this and go pitch and we'll show up. We will, we can sell this. We just go ahead, go for it. We'll partner. We're teaming up. You're about to come and produce her. Look out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm lo Listen, do you know what? It's lovely to speak to the two of you. Please take Thank care, you. stay safe and keep in touch with us. We will, we, we want to send you some music and stuff. So Ma, I'll send it to Sabrina, right? Yes. Okay. Send it. Send it. We want. We want. And and we'll, we'll. As soon as this is ready, we'll send it over to you. You can show it to the producers over there and go. Look how good we are in a car, off the cuff, <laughs> off we go. Perfect. Exactly. Okay. You're just great. Lovely. You're adorable. Love you too. Bye, Rob. See ya. Bye bye.